Hello everyone, welcome back. This should be the final episode of the Louisiana Millwright series. We have to load our final semi. We are up in Alexandria, Louisiana. We're gonna bring you guys along. I hope you enjoy. This was a small rebagging line. It's been shut down for about 10 years. We had some massive bins that were right over in this area. We cut those all out. We did a uh, swept floor policy, cut off all the redheads and stuff sticking out of the concrete. These are some of the components to the legs. These are universal D bucket elevator legs. They've been completely broke down so they can go back to the main shop for rebuilding and we'll turn them into new equipment. We are waiting for the semi. This is some of the equipment we removed. A couple of dust control systems some random, random other small trinkets throughout. This is a really cool old stencil cutter right here. It's pretty cool. You rotate this wheel and then it tells you when you're on the letter R Then you stamp it like that. And then you move on to like an O or a U or whatever. If you want to say run or whatever, you get the gist. And then I'll take you over there. That's some of the mezzanine that we cut out and removed. This is the large mezzanine that we removed. We have two crow's nest from the bucket elevator legs, a large bin, and then a large dump hopper. They were dumping seed totes right into that. This just stays with the plant. The uh, owner of the building is going to scrap all of this. We are in hurry up and wait mode. Just waiting for the semi, so the crew's just sitting there watching a video. I'm gonna head to the semi dock and show you where we're gonna be loading. We are heading up the forklift ramp. As you can see, it has these nice oak six by six runners to keep you from ramping off. And here is more of the equipment. We have a couple universal bucket elevator legs, old school planter plate checker, more sections and of course these ideal cylinder separators these are the ones we had to run up to alexandria louisiana we have the door open we're just waiting on the semi i would absolutely love to have this warehouse for my main shop this place is massive the semi just pulled in let's go ahead get started loading
have our first machine loaded. We're going to proceed with the second machine. We're going to bring you guys along. a little tight on the dock right now but as we put more machines inside the semi the better it will get Fork extensions. are installing our cross member planks. Now we pick them up. This is where it gets a little bit tricky. You have to go up Raise your load and lower your load as the forklift changes. Now I'm going to lower the machine down as I go up the ramp. Now you have to raise the machine as the rear of the forklift comes up the ramp. A little tricky, but once you get the hang of it, you've got it. get left behind, move them out, then we're going to scoot this over to the wall, and then we're going to tie the left one to the wall, tie the right one to the wall, and fill up the middle. Clearing the ramp now that we have a little bit more room. singular extension and we're going to bring in these eight foot sections one at a time and slide them between the two green machines we just dropped off in the trailer.
we're gonna grab the next one. the video so far please hit the like button and subscribe if you're new so you can catch our future videos As you can see, we are stacking and a packing. I learned how to do this a long, long time ago, and we get our money's worth when we get a van trailer. One of the best loads that I ever did in a 53 foot dry van, I took a 5,000 pound Caterpillar forklift and I slung it sideways right on the tail. We had the forks off, of course, and slid the forks right underneath of it. There was about three inches left in the semi and it was loaded all the way to the ceiling about three quarters of the way back. It was rough. Luke is grabbing some of the smalls and we're gonna stack on top of the indent machines. All the small 12 inch grader drums. has the 612 grader there on the forklift forks. You have to be very careful and know what you're doing, which William does. He's one of the best operators we've got. You gotta go nice and slow because they're not really built to be picked up from the bottom like that. Boys are loading up the smalls. This is how I started. It's hard work, but it makes you into a man. The stenciler, the D bucket elevator head, the fish vine pedestal, Carter Day grader, and this thing right behind me is all we have to put on there yet. All right, we've put the second from the last piece on. The trailer fills up pretty quick when you take out these plants. Now they're getting ready to put in the six by 12 grader. Another flawless performance from the Toyota. We have the Carter Day 612 grader set on. Luke is putting the straps on it so that it doesn't tip forward. Of course, the rear doors here are going to secure it from tipping backwards. We're putting on the straps and then we will seal up the semi once he pulls out. Special thanks to Luke. He got a couple of good shots for me. Luke is putting the final strap on.
And with that, the semi is totally loaded, front to back. Send him off. Charlie and my brother Samuel will unload him. And there he goes, he's heading out. In a couple of days, it will be back in Illinois at our uh, facility. With that, guys, we're going to go ahead and wrap up the episode. I'd like to thank you all for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.